How much of your time would you say that you actually spend picking new investments? And how much of your time would you guys actually spend um, building and working with your current portfolio companies? Yeah, I think so for every VC, it will be different based on uh, their portfolio. So if I think about, you know, the day of my life is if within my portfolio, I have some companies that are just working on launching their first product. There may be nothing for me to do there um, other than just kind of watching cash burn and offering strategic advice, you know, just opinions. But, you know, if I'm offering specific product ideas, then we've bet on the wrong company. So, you know, there's, it's kind of hands off. Then I think on the other end, when companies are you know, close to an IPO, assuming things are going well, there's a full management team, you know, then again, there's a, there could be a lot of board work around different committees and things, but, but generally, once you have a, a strong management team, that team can help figure out you know, the next hire as a, as a group. Where I find we spend a lot of time often is in that, that you know, company building in the early days, right after product market fit where the team isn't built out enough yet where a second set of eyes on you know the the that first management team or you know that you're building out can take a tremendous amount of time and then there's all the life events that you know financings M&A kind of big strategic decisions that take a lot of time mm. um, but i'd say that the companies that if you know depending on your portfolio you may have a ton of companies that kind of have that early product market fit or are now trying to go from a product to a company and an organization, you know, that tends to take a ton of time, especially if they're first time founders who have never mm. seen what building a company is like. Um, the other thing I'd often say is like, you know, CEOs themselves, I think we play a big role in trying to help CEOs understand that um, their role as CEO is constantly evolving. And they have, you know, that, that role of kind of constant self-development is mm. some people just think they were born CEO and there's nothing for them to grow. But the best CEOs we see are constantly pushing themselves to grow as people. Mm. And we can do a lot of work to try and kind of help them understand what a great CEO looks like. Mm. Um, but then lastly, so, so that's all on the portfolio side and that can be, you know, vary in terms of, but I'd say it's generally, you know, somewhere between a quarter to three quarters of my week, depending mm. on the week. Then I have, you know, a partner meeting once a week, which is where I'm with all my partners. We're generally evaluating new companies. Uh, we're talking about strategic issues of the firm. Um, we're getting updates from some of our existing companies. And then I have, um, you know, in my role, a responsibility to also manage our investors. So mm. some of my week may be you know, dealing with by giving updates to our investors on how things are going or, or otherwise. Uh, and then we have our own firm building stuff. Like we may have meetings on PR marketing or, you know, hosting dinners or, you know, and, and then, and then finally we're looking at new companies, you know, and, and trying to do you know that as well to stay current and not miss the next great, you know, company. 